So with Operation Frostline releasing tomorrow and down during downtime, I thought I would take the time to show you on the new side so I quickly run one and let you see what kind of loop we get at the end. So the Operation Frostline sites will appear as Operation Frostline targets in your overview. They're a standard beacon that's going by the law stuff that uh, CCP put out today are there because of uh, Mordu Legion finding out all this intel after they're raising all the ore stations in Outer Ring. I'm just going to run this site quickly in my PVE Ishtar that I use for ratting out in Serpentis space. Given that it's a Serpentis site, these kind of I figure this is the best ship for it. So as you see, I've just landed on grid here. There's uh, no one else in the locals, so there's no one in this site. And there's nothing on instant spawn, just an acceleration gate, a couple of stations, and some other collateral object. Take it back, apparently I've got my overview set wrong. There we go, you're gonna to need to add those to your overview, then the Serpentis event frigates are not a part of the standard uh, pack that I've got set up. So it's just five frigate class ships. Which my tech two wasps are just gonna absolutely demolish. If you're in something smaller or less tanky, just keeping up transversal will easily finish off this site. I've completed it in one of the new uh, T2 destroyers with a microfield jump generators that are due for release tomorrow and barely struggled against them. So, second wave spawning, and that's again just another set of frigates. As you can see, if you can do more than put out more than 400 alpha, you're just going to go straight through these things. The amount of damage they're doing to me is the last time I saw a hit was about one or two, so pretty easy to tank if you've got your uh, kinetic and thermal resist up pretty high. Okay, this is the third and final wave for this pocket. As is standard with Serpentis, they're using damps on me, but because I've got drones out, it's not going to cause any problems at all. So that's the first pocket done. All these structures here, the uh, fortress and the Serpentis research facility, the last time I tried they weren't destructible so I'm not even going to bother this time. I'm not sure if this 54k warps something new. Normally, if I remember rightly, it was about 10,000k warp for every acceleration gate. But that just might be me misremembering. Again, you're going to need to add the Serpentis of Cruisers to your overview. They've marked down as Serpentis Event Cruisers.
second wave is another four cruisers. Usually these uh, don't actually spawn any wrecks. I don't know if that's just a bug and uh, singularity or if that's actually something that's part of the game. It could be a way of trying to reduce the uh, impact of the extra salvage on the market. Okay, here's a third and final wave of cruisers. After this, we'll get one more wave, just a lone battle cruiser. You can actually see the new uh, effects they've put in place for propulsion. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, prop module, so you don't get to see that. Again, another one you'll need to add to your overview. Basically, the Brutex. Which I just alpha Great. Okay, let's go and pick up the cargo container. Again, I don't know if I've already said, these structures here, the research facility, the lockout and the slave transport are all completely uh, indestructible, so it's not worth wasting your drones or your time or your ammo on them. Okay, so there we go, this is a pretty standard loot for this uh, site. This is what I've seen in the other ones I've ran, you get the female. There you go, female Serpentis t-shirt. There's the male one. And you also get some Quake Zero, which uh, hasn't been given out for a long time. It's a pretty popular booster, especially for uh, new players. The fact it's not illegal in high stake also gives it a bit of an advantage. So there we go, that's a quick run through of the Operation Frostline site. Uh, CCP have hinted that you'll get blueprint drops to be implants of high and low end modules. I know there's a picture kicking around uh, last week of a guy who found an officer module, but I'm assuming that's probably going to be some fake. Uh, should be interesting to see what we get when it hits the, it hits the live server tomorrow. Thank you very much.